hello darlings welcome into the loot lounge we're going to be going crazy with multiple piles and see what message really wants to get into your psyche into your aura tonight i read tarot for the blessed beings with the heart chakra activated team godhead baby the ones who really know their true power hi guys and write that in the comments i know my true power i can be do and have whatever i want so i'm talking to the ones who are divinely activated who provide such a beautiful light for this planet. And if you do, whack that in the comments. I provide a beautiful light for this planet. I just heard Phil Collins in the air tonight. So I feel like you can feel something coming in your life. You can feel something beautiful heading towards you. And it's something that you can't ignore because I feel like it's tickling you. Yeah, there we go. We've got the fulfillment of wishes here. And on the bottom of the deck, we've got sacrifice. So I feel like You've been through things where you had to let go of things, where you had to flow on in maturity and wisdom. And now what I'm getting is nine of cups energy. This is the fulfillment of wishes for you. And I feel like you can feel this coming. I'm hearing instincts. You've always had really good instincts. You could relate to the wolf spirit. I feel like you are always observing. Okay, I'm seeing your consciousness being separate from your body, but observing things further on up the road. So you're a really wise old soul. I'm hearing the word devout, so I feel like you've spent loads of lifetimes being really devoted, and now this is the lifetime where something's coming to fruition for you. What's the next card, Spirit? What do we need? I'm getting Archangel Michael, and we've got the Ace of Wands here. So again, that's such a powerful card of you being in your divinity, knowing who you are. The Ace of Wands is that moment where we realize how powerful we are, and we can feel all the energies of the divine moving through us. So I feel like you picked up your wand a long time ago and you decided to go on a beautiful pathway. And now something is coming in, something that you chose long ago, something that meant a lot to you, something that has been resting in your heart. And now I feel like you can feel it inching in towards you. We've got God's army. We've got defense here. So something you want, and I'm getting that this is like a prize for you, a spiritual prize. This prize is protected. And I'm getting this vibe of it being so simple for you to just be in the energy you're in, radiating in that divine glow, and have this trust. They're saying have trust that this is coming, whatever this fulfillment of wishes means for you, because this is heavily protected with this energy, this seven of clubs energy. I feel like you are a protective person as well. I feel like you have this beautiful protective urge to protect people. And I'm hearing that that is what charges up your non-physical connection. Well, I can't believe that. Did you guys just see that fall on the floor, this protection? So this is you not only being protected, but being the protector because we get what we give, right? So what I'm getting is that you have this amazing, divine, beautiful sense to protect others, right? And that's why you've got this gorgeous energy walking with you i'm seeing this carpet being put out for you so this is a spiritual golden carpet that you walk on that's so beautiful waterfalls could mean something to you ocherias i'm getting ocherias right i know people that have like lived there and they say it a certain way but i'm getting that coming up now jamaica could mean a lot we've got the south node coming out so i feel like there could be something coming up in your life that could test you out something that could maybe want to try and pull you back to your self node something that might feel comfortable but after a minute it will start to feel weird again right so we've got remember reconsider and now is not the time to do something so this is about avoiding trouble here with this self node popping up so anyone from the past anyone like that i'm, I'm kind of getting this message of don't let them spark your interest right don't let them pull your interest in another direction okay let's see what else is coming out here for this glorious blessed cherubim we've got a treasure chest on this card and this being a loot lounge reading it's like we are destined to get everything we want here so we've got the seven of pentacles with the hermit you've been patient you've been doing your work you've been uh, i keep hearing divine order divine order so you keep things in divine order you could be a Virgo or have some beautiful healing Virgo placement. You don't have to. I'm getting the number nine and I'm getting the number 11 coming out. Let's see what the Alien Dreams Tarot has to say. Four of Swords. So this is about you resting up here. And we've got the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. So this is about you being really cozy here and really living in that divine light. Because we can see the Christ here shining light on this person. 
who's like just keeping themselves to themselves, keeping yourself cozy, keeping yourself protected, doing what you can to keep yourself in your divine protected energy. And I feel like there are going to be things that are going to come in and try and spark your interest and um, pull you back to your self node. But I feel like there's something way better coming that you can feel. I'm getting the light that you can feel from this wish fulfillment energy is so much brighter than the energy that people may try and tempt you with. So you can write that in the comments. I am protected. No one can tempt me. I know who I am. I'm totally protected. We've got the eight of swords here. So on this card, it says prisoner of war. So I feel like you're going to be released from this. I feel like you've done the pathway. You've, you've moved into this exactly perfect position really activated your north node is what i'm getting here so we've got the eight of swords i feel like you're going to be released from something here because you may feel like life hasn't been in the right setting for you this could be you moving i keep getting it a lot of people move moving physical physical location yeah we've got the queen of cups here so it's only a matter of time and then this cup is going to be filled up is what i'm getting and they want you to feel this energy of this beautiful gorgeous cup like the holy grail they want you to feel this in your heart space and visualize a big beautiful cup of opalescent energy or any kind of color that you love they want you to picture the the cup as the holy grail of your heart and they're saying this could be good visualization for you if you do have moments of anxiety they're saying come back to that that gorgeous gorgeous cup they're saying someone might be picturing a golden cup or that could be something you've pictured in meditations before unbound here we've got releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives and that's what the ace of wands is all about freedom so i feel like you are waiting to feel truly free in your reality and this big blessing is coming in with this wish fulfillment energy here so you know that if you uh, want the best prizes you've got to sit on the best eggs and i feel like you've been really patient i'm hearing nest eggs so you know you're getting something coming in that's going to be secure for your future something that's going to give you a glow something that's going to let you know you are safe you are protected and that you do create your own reality because when you point this wand ping it has to appear in your reality when you've done all the work and i'm getting that you've done all of this work here we've got resourcefulness here so i feel like you are your own support system i feel like you are really good at keeping yourself up at doing the practical things and now it's your turn to get something uplifting for you now it's your turn for the divine to show you how precious you are to them i feel like you've handled something really beautifully here with the unbound card and here we've got the eight of swords you see how this one's tied up and then over here there's all these energies of freedom and protection and wish fulfillment i'm getting patience is something that maybe you practice or you've gotten really good at because i feel like when we're younger we could never imagine how evolved our patience has got to become when we're older right we've got the hunter of paths here so you're sitting pretty and there's going to be one beautiful path that's going to reveal itself to you again i'm getting this energy of that holy grail is going to boost you picturing these energies of this beautiful cup is going to really boost you anytime you feel anxiety they're saying go back straight to the heart chakra you are resourceful you are full of power and uh, they want you to remember that because sometimes the mind could maybe trap you a little bit here maybe you've been in the same environment for a while they're saying lift yourself up into the energies of the divine with that cup they're saying that's a key that's a key i might have to try that one myself right We've got jump in Andromedan energy adventure saying yes to change. So I feel like right now there's a perfect opportunity. You can feel it coming in the air tonight. They want you to be so highly protected to not be tempted by things that could pull you back into your self node. But there is going to be something coming where you're going to be jumping right in. I just feel like for you being a divine being, it's got to be the tippy top. It's got to be you dealing with sovereign beings. It's got to be you only doing things that your heart is uplifted and exalted by. This is the new way. Spirit's telling me this is the new way for humans to really come into their majesty and only accept the best. We've got Scorpio here, the extraordinary power of prayer. And this is about you controlling your situation, whatever you're going through right now because mm, you've got so much power maybe in the situation you've been in it's like you've been around people who didn't like your power they reacted funny to your power and so i feel like you just want to wait for the right ones to come along right here with this four of swords but i'm going to get another one i feel like your power is transformation and i feel like you are so in control of your destiny now with the divine right there right on your shoulder you could feel something on your right shoulder specifically 
you could maybe hear whispers for someone out there. I feel like this is a grandparent or a spirit guide, a kindly spirit guide, where they'll like give you little hints about things and make sure they whisper the right things in your ear. This is like having a little birdie in your ear. This is what I'm saying. This is a Hierophant card again. So you know now, you've learned so much that you know when someone is in divine energy and when they're not. With the firefly energy, what they're saying here is be careful of people. They're saying neighborhood for somebody. Some people in your neighborhood could carry a certain energy. And when they knock on your door asking for like a cup of sugar or whatever, it's getting into your magnetic field. What they're saying is be careful for, for people who are coming in and they're real good at being charming or being really nice or mirroring you and mimicking you, stealing your energy and being nice for like a month, getting all your info. That's a thing, right, where people will mimic your energy and make you feel like they're a soul group member. So be careful, particularly in the neighborhood. There could be some gossipy people who want your information. They want to know what you're up to because you're divine, right? It's like you've got a fan club. When we're divine beings, we attract a lot of attention from the provincials, right? So uh, remember Beauty and the Beast and the way she was and the way they all treated her like she was crazy because she read a book? Yeah, that's what most people are like, guys, still to this very day. So I feel like you need to be divinely protected. And, and that's the major, major theme of this because there's something so big coming in that you have to grab it with both hands and you have to be complete and whole and you are, and you're ready. We've got the seven of seven of pentacles. This is patience. You've you've sown beautiful seeds, right? When we're waiting for flowers to grow, we don't dig them out the ground when they're not growing quick enough. We have that beautiful patience, knowing that we're gonna get a gorgeous orchid, a gorgeous rose. It's coming, baby. Let's see. Let's see what's coming out here. Okay, we've got that golden slipper. Okay, we've got the anchor. So we've got D F. And I'm hearing this energy saying, don't, don't fuck, right? And right, my little sister, I've, my, I've, I've got a little sister, yeah, and she's got Down syndrome and autism. And instead of saying, don't fuck with me, she would always say, still fuck. Like, don't even, you know, like she had this little way about her. So I'm getting that energy coming through here with this DF. Like, no one's allowed to bother, to bother with you or bother you if they don't have your highest good involved. The divine's going to come in with, with pure passion for you and be like, no, you are not messing around with the cherubima, okay? So you earned something here with this red ribbon. This is your own security because this goes to the root chakra. And there's one specific path for you with this golden slipper that it's so important i feel like someone could come in and try and mimic the real pathway they could try and offer you a false pathway but it's mimicry so they're saying be very discerning remember that there are shape-shifting beings out there they can shift into your energy when they first meet you so be patient and, and take time when you meet someone we've got the anchor here so you are grounded you are rooted and i'm getting real strong good luck with this one as well your vessel is going in the right direction. You've got huge momentum behind this, huge steam behind it. So you have to stay on course is what I'm getting. Stay on course with your north node. Perfect, beautiful, happy, shiny and rosy. Okay, and now we've got number three. Okay, so this is the number of the Trinity, the number of the Empress, the number of growing things, right? This is uh, also I'm getting like Virgin Mary, mother mary kind of energy so you could find you have a connection with the divine mother energy through the the christ the mother of christ the virgin mary that could mean something to you particularly if you come from ireland or spain or italy i'm getting your family values are sort of energetically connected to that and i feel like this energy protects you and you felt that right okay let's get one more card to finish off the reading Let's see, show me, what else do we need to know about the fulfillment of wishes? Any other advice for my cherubim? They're saying the freedom is so important, being free, knowing that you never do anything wrong. You're always doing it right for you and your soul group. Four of Cups, make sure you reject this false one. You're going to know who this is. And one more. Yeah, tower energy. So they're saying really reject anyone that's... Uh, showing up on your doorstep because you've got something more beautiful you've got this four of wands here so really do be careful about random people overly interested people people who turn up like all of a sudden you know i'm kind of getting that energy here so i really hope this reading has helped okay you've got this beautiful pathway it's gonna light up for you stay free stay shiny and uh, stay in that north node baby i love you blessed beings Mwah.